All right, this week's newsletter is uh, we're going to give you some pointers on how to set your electric choke on your crate engine. Get quite a bit of calls on this. It can be a little overwhelming if you really don't understand how the choke works and a couple simple things to, to do. So that's what we're going to discuss today. So basically, you, you got two functions here that's going to help you do that. One is the uh, choke pod here. This really controls the choke blade. Uh, where it's positioned at when it's cold and how it, how it basically opens. And the other adjustment is the fast idle adjustment, which is right down here, a little screw down here and stuff. So that basically is kind of like your idle screw, screw on the fast cam that you see there, that red cam and stuff. So um, basically here in the diner room what I do is I pretty well set these to where they're at room temperature. It's, it's about that open right there. So... Um, I would have to say that's probably on the lean side, hopefully, when you when you get it and stuff. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is when you start it, you, you want to make sure that it will at least idle. So the first adjustment you're going to make is on the idle screw here. If you have to turn it, you know, if it's not idle, naturally you've got to turn it in to, to get that at least to idle stable. Uh, this is where we preach to have an O2 because it makes it a lot easier to do that. You'll look at your O2 then and see, you know, kind of if it's struggling, if it's lean or if it's rich. And then you're going to adjust, you know, this pod accordingly. Um, as you go clockwise with it, this is going to richen it up. If you go counterclockwise, it's going to lean it down. That's naturally how it opens that and stuff. So. Uh, if you get it, it starts to open and it just really seems extremely rich still, uh, you'll look down in here at the boosters and you'll see what we call fuel drip on the primary side. If it, that booster is dripping fuel, then really we're open too far on our primary uh, blade. So right down here you have a little set screw that basically controls the secondary blade open. You might have to open up that a little bit so then naturally you can close your primary so keep that that blade a little bit less and uh, so that's on a really really low vacuum motors that's sometimes what you have to do so uh, so those are basically the functions of, of how to do it and it, it might take you a time or two because naturally once it starts to warm up you've lost that ability of the coldness and the choke and stuff so you know you might have to just kind of make take you two or three times to get it just precise but uh, it can be done um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go out we've got a uh, 427 500 horsepower Ford which is a, is a fairly low vacuum you know fairly not doesn't idle really well uh, motor installed in a customer's vehicle we did and we're going to go show you how that starts up and, and uh, kind of give you a representation of what it really should try to do so alrighty here we are we're inside here here's the O2 installed in the vehicle uh, so once we start it, it's going to be a little noisy there, so uh, we'll kind of let you watch it as best we can, kind of, so you can kind of get an idea of what it should look like. So it started right up. Basically, it's just idling, you know, right around a little rip there, which you kind of want when it's cold. It's 11, 11, 5. 12, 5, we're not, we haven't touched the gas pedal. We clerked it once or twice before we started it, and uh, now it's warming up, so. Over here to the tag, you can see it's, you know, you can hear it kind of smooth itself out. And as, that, as it's doing that, go to becomes a little bit leaner. you know where to tap the gas pedal. We're going to tap it now to get it off of fast idle. And that was, okay, that was pretty quick. So uh, that's all it really took to get it to get it to warm up. And you know, now it's, it's, it's idle a little bit lean there. So you, you, know, you might have wanted to left it on the fast idle a little bit longer, but as you can see, it still ran. We now, I haven't touched the gas pedal except for when I blurped it. So, uh, and naturally, with the O2, you can see exactly what it's doing, so you can kind of fine tune it. So, uh, and as you can tell, this is not a, a mild little motor here, so that's a thousand RPM. That's it's not warmed up yet, but it's, you know, it's a little rough idle, but uh, it's idling, you know. And this car set out all night. 
night. I uh, got down to probably about 28 degrees last night, so it's plenty cold. Probably only about uh, 46 degrees out right now. So, uh, but just gives you a good idea, kind of how a, a low vacuum, fairly rough island motor should really fire up for you. And uh, I don't like a pussy cat. Okay, so there, you basically, I don't know if you could have heard me when I was running and stuff, so at, uh, you know, uh, on this combination here, we pumped the gas one time and let it ride off, and you, you can see it, it it idled right away. We didn't have to put our foot on the gas pedal, anything of that nature. Uh, I took it off a of fast idle when I just tapped the gas pedal, and actually it came off a of fast idle cam and uh, came down to idle, and it, it idled, it idled a little rough, so that might have been a little quick, uh, to do that uh, type situation, but those are just things you can kind of tailor uh, to your own vehicle and stuff uh, as far as how fast you want it to idle, when you're going to tap it to come off of idle, but it just gives you a good idea of, you know, it is capable of starting right up, idling, uh, and uh, function properly and stuff. So uh, basically, uh, we appreciate you watching this video and uh, next week's uh, video will probably be on how to, to lash your valves correctly via solid camshaft or hydraulic so stay tuned if you got any questions about this video or you need any help don't hesitate to contact Prestige Motorsports uh, you can call us or drop us an email thanks a bunch